Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to fix invalid Python SDK in PyCharm or cannot set up Python SDK error. So let's get started. Start by clicking on the File menu in the top left corner, then select Settings. Once in the Settings window, find your project's name in the sidebar and click on it. Next, navigate to the Python Interpreter section. To modify the interpreter, click the arrow in the Interpreter directory and choose Show All to view all available Python interpreters. I have only one version of Python, but this can also work for multiple versions. You can simply remove the existing interpreter by clicking the minus button. After that, re-add the interpreter by clicking the plus button. When selecting the interpreter, be sure to choose the exact Python installation path instead of using the pre-made environment interpreter provided by PyCharm. Once you've made your selection, click Apply and then OK to save your changes. Next. Locate the Python Path Config button, which is to the left under Control File. Click it, then select Edit Configurations. In the Configurations window, delete any previous configurations and create a new one by entering the correct script path to your Python file, along with the Python interpreter path you selected earlier in the settings. Once again, click Apply and OK to confirm your settings. If you followed all these steps correctly, a green checkmark should appear in the top left corner, indicating that your setup is complete. You can now test your ID to ensure everything is working as expected. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software Free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free, so click the link in the description to sign up.